How you doing? This is Adam with RevolutionAthlete.com. I'm going to show you three good exercises you can do in your home if you're a thrower for track and field. Um, very simple exercises. You can do them out of your own home, like we have set up here. Um, the weights I have, um, you can get them at yard sales, probably stuff you already have at your house. Um, a cheap medicine ball I picked up at a sporting goods store. Um, first exercise, very simple. Uh, throwers obviously have to use a lot of their upper body, a lot of their lower body, a lot of core. It's a total body type of um, exercise routine. Throwing is pretty demanding on uh, all your joints too, so we're going to kind of keep you safe and uh, make sure you have good flexibility for these two. So, first exercise, plate row or anything you got. I call it a plate row just because we usually use plates, so I'll show you with that. Um, but you can use the ball. Very simple, you're going to stay nice and low to the ground. Okay, you're going to have your chest up, facing in front of you. Good squat form. So you're not way over your knees, like we always talk about. You're always back on your heels, okay? Your butt's going that way, your chest is up facing this way, okay? You're going to keep the plate nice and low, your arms are extended down, and you're just going to pull the plate in to your chest, okay? Not towards your stomach, you're going to pull it up high towards your chest and back down, okay? So you're trying to squeeze your shoulder blades together in the back. So picture there's something between your shoulder blades, uh, pencil, crayon, something like that and you're trying to squeeze and hold it at the top. So you're here, pulling up, squeezing for a second, back down. Okay? Right down, right up. Very simple. You don't want to be leaning over. You're always facing forward. So if you have to look in a mirror, look straight at your face in the mirror. Okay? Very simple. It's called the plate row. You can use it with a ball. Look the same way. Okay? Pulling it right in. All right? The second exercise, Okay, um, obviously you can use any weights you want, depending on your skill level. This is a small two and a half pound weight, this is a 10, so I'll show you with the 10. Um, depending on your skill level, obviously use a lighter weight, heavier if you're a little stronger. So you're going to hold the weight, um, the grips on the edges here, you can hold in the middle, wherever you want, just hold onto it tight. It's a very easy exercise, you're going to pull it up this way, okay, that's one part of the exercise. I show this part first because it's probably the most difficult part of the exercise. So you want to make sure your arms are coming up. You want to make sure your elbows are leading and pulling up. So your elbows are higher than your hands. You never want to be up here. So your elbows should be leading. Okay, that's an upright row. That's actually the second part of the movement. The first part uh, is called a shrug to an upright row, then a calf raise. So that was the second part. The first part is very easy. It's just a shrug. You're just pulling your shoulders up to your ears. Okay, you're not rolling. Okay, forward or back, it's not good for you, so you're not rolling, you're just coming up. Okay, and then the second part is that upright row we talked about. Okay, so first part, one, two, and then third part, coming up on your toes. Okay, simple exercise, pulling up, and coming up. So one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, together. Okay, one after another. It's also called a high pull, or it could be a, uh, different types of names. You can do it with a ball if you have it. So if this is all you have, just hold on to it tight. Pull it up. Okay, just make sure your elbows are high. Okay, make sure you don't hit yourself in the chin. Um, that one's called the upright row. Uh, I'm sorry, shrug, upright row, calf raise. Last one is a plyometric push-up or an explosive push-up. Uh, I'll show you the beginner way to do them and then my more advanced. So the first thing you would do is get into a good push-up position. Good push-up position, your hands are over the top of your body and your feet or toes rather are on the ground. You're going to come down while keeping your elbows tight to the side of your body. So the inside of your arm, with this or any push-up, the inside of your arm should be touching the side of your body. You've seen people do push-ups with their arms out here, obviously. It puts a lot of strain on the shoulder joint, so keeping your arms in protects your shoulders. Especially for a throw, you need to have your shoulders healthy. So you're keeping your arms in, okay? So here, over your hands, coming down, okay? Slowly, so you're never coming down quick. You're always coming down, waiting, and then you're gonna explode off the ground. So a regular push-up would be this way, okay? Explosive or a plyometric push-up or a, um, a clap push-up looks this way. You see every time I catch my body and then I drive up enough. 
You can clap your hands if you want, you don't have to. Um, but that's the hard way to do it, or the original way to do it. If you get really tired, go to your knees. Um, they're called, uh, some people call them girl push-ups. That has nothing to do with girls or anything. Um, if you're working hard enough, you might have to go down to these. But as long as you keep them explosive, it doesn't matter how you do them as long as you get them done. So you have them the same way. Over your hands, knees on the ground, feet up, come down, drive up. Okay? So I can get a little more height doing it that way, but it's less of my body weight that I'm pushing up. But if you're doing maybe 15 or 20 of the regular ones, you're probably going to have to go back to the other ones uh, at some point because they're easier. The one thing you want to be careful you're not doing is you're not letting your body sag down this way. You want to have here solid the whole time. Okay? So if you watch my whole midsection, it comes down together and comes up at the same time. So I'm never sagging down this way or I'm never doing this. I'm always in a straight line. Okay? Just remember that when you do push-ups, make sure your body's in a straight line and your elbows are tucked in your sides and you always protect your shoulders. Uh, you probably won't have too many injuries. Uh, so to review, the three were the plate row, the shrug upright row calf raise together, and the last one was the uh, plyometric push-up. Do as many sets and reps as you want. Use whatever kind of weights you want either. Uh, it's up to you. Hope these uh, help out. Good luck.